the court. Um, it says, uh, the manner of, it says, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. Yep, exhorting one another, man. Encouraging each other to push forward. Yep. You know? Letting people know where their faults are. What they need to change, man. Encouraging people to stay in the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? This ain't nothing to give up on, man. We're doing the most important thing in this world right now, man. This is the most important thing going on in this fucking world, man. And it's happening on right here in the small corner of Gary. See, the prophets, man, that we read about and that we that we admire, man, we standing in their stead right now, man. That's that's major, man. We be getting wooed off the scriptures. Like, damn, that's it. Shit. In the kingdom of heaven, the, the, the peop our people gonna be looking at us like that. Damn, bro. Them mother was catching hell. They've been saying the sea, so that's from a lot of people. Yeah, a man. Two thirds. And you know, Yahweh Shai gonna get his fame, man. And Lord willing, we gonna get ours too, man. You know? Hey, to be a, hey man, just think, man, you fucking special, man. No matter how, the, how much the world beat you down, man. The Lord chose you to be in this month, man. You fucking special, man. This world will make you feel like you ain't shit, man. You can't, you can't allow that, man. Go ahead, brother. We the prophets of the Lord, man. Go ahead, boy. Matthew chapter 10, verse 14. Yeah, we got into a lot of points, but Matthew, that's how the scriptures here, man. The scriptures hit a lot of points in one chapter, man. It says, uh, Matthew 10 and 14. And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words when ye depart out of that out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more to uh, tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the city of Ju in the day of judgment. Man, so Sodom and Gomorrah got fucked up, man. Hey, Sodom, the destruction of so Sodom and Gomorrah was so bad that uh, nothing else uh, grew. Them, they thought the world had been destroyed, bro. <laughs> That's how bad it was. His daughters was like, man, we they, we the only ones left. We gotta make kids. Yep. Ain't gonna no fall civilization. Yep. The destruction was so fucking bad, man. And you know what? You know what that means? The, every, the Lord kept waiting for everybody to be in the city for the be So it wasn't nobody. The city had to be like, you know what I'm saying? A, a desert city out in the middle of nowhere. But it wasn't nobody coming in. Because all the people that was meant to be destroyed was at home. When was that festival? When they had, yeah, yeah, they probably had. Everybody's off one of the fucking pagan fucking demon holidays. Everybody's off. Yeah, we got a party. Hey, Zeus, Zeus. The sky. Men dancing together like, bro, they probably was, bro, they probably was, hey, the Lord probably destroyed them right when they was fucking partying, man. Yep. Hey, that was, that's a heavy thought, man. Because yep. everybody was at home. Yep. Nobody, did nobody escape the destruction. And it couldn't be no, it couldn't have been nobody to escape, you know why? Because when they got uh, uh, left out of the city, there wasn't no traffic coming and leaving. That's why they thought the world would be short, because they didn't see no people, no life. It wasn't no, so, the, so everybody was at home. Cause you know, like back then it was way busier and it was car caravans, people going to markets, people going to uh, uh, get water. Man, bro, like all kind of shit, bro. Traffic, this is the scriptures call it traffic. You know, all kind of shit going on. So it had to be a, t a time where, where everybody was at home. Cause everybody that was meant for that destruction was destroyed for that hour. Before that happened, hey Amen. April, Abraham, our father Abraham, prayed for the you know, hey, if it be so many people, Lord, allow the land to uh, be sustained, keep the land intact, you know. Hey, but in the end, Yahweh, being as righteous as he is, sent angels down to, to, to search out for the people, man. And what they tried to do, they tried to rape the angels, man, you know. So the, the angels said, hey, look, 
reported to the heavenly father and got a lot of his family out of there. He killed everybody else. They had to speedy get them out of there because the anger, the anger of the Lord was so kindled that his hand was, when he was about to bring that hand down, they got, they had to get them up out of there because when that hand came down, that city was destroyed. Yep. Which is representation of America, man. The great Babylon right now, we uh, uh, are the uh, men that the Lord is sending to, 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 uh, uh, to send a report, you know, to pray and call out to him and, and let him know what's going on. And, and they see us, it's reached to heaven. So in a minute, what? Them thermonuclear missiles is gonna come down on this place, man. Hey man, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to World War III because that's when the Lord, the Lord gonna really show himself in World War III. Man, we need that to happen, man. Because you know what? Faith is gonna be increased, man. People are gonna be fucking scared, man. People are gonna be fucking scared, man. Cause the Lord, the Lord gonna fucking show up, man. And they're gonna be wrecking shit. Them chariots gonna be just turn this shit to ashes. He said the script is uh he's gonna send down the weapons of his indignation, man. As the uh, brother was going, as the elder was going into, he was so mad at Sodom and Gomorrah that they had to expediently get them out of the way, man. So, so the Lord is gonna send down weapons that hold his indignation in them, man. You know, which is his wrath, his anger upon this place. You know, you know the Lord tired of this motherfucker when he says it's gonna be destroyed in an hour, man. Uh, uh, thousands. Upon thousands of acres of land to be short. And you know what? There's some there's some beautiful land in America, man. Yeah. When you go when you go right like man, when I was going when I was driving up to New York through the mountains, and man, I saw beautiful sights. Man, elk, uh trees, man, it was there's some beautiful terrain out here, but you know the Lord gonna fuck that shit. <laughs> the fish, the fish gonna get fried, everything gonna get fried. <laughs> we'll get that Romans, bro. This is uh, Romans chapter 8, verse, um, verse 18. It says, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time. Yeah, the things that we're going through right now. Okay, go ahead. Are not worthy to be compared mm -hmm. with the glory which shall be revealed in us. It's, it's not worthy to, to be compared. You know, oh, you're awesome. just feeling it because you're in this flesh. And this flesh has been weakened. Man, a, a, a half, over half of our lives, bro, we was taught to be weak. All of us. Wait, how old are you okay with you? Over half of our lives, we all have been taught to go the fuck off, man. We all, man, we... I ain't come out of the church till I was 25. I was I was fucked around all my life in that damn church. You know? And even after that, you know? But it's not worthy to be compared to the glory that's gonna be revealed in us, man. It's not, bro, the Lord gonna do the Lord about to do some mighty fucking works, man. Just think when he hits you with that spiritual power, man. That's, that's gonna be a day of fucking reckoning, man. Everybody got somebody in their mind. They just wanna over, they wanna dead me. They wanna dead, bro. <laughs> the scripture that I always have you in know? my mind is that it's like, uh, I will work a work in your day that you. I was just thinking that, bro. You not believe yeah. it, though I'm telling you. Get out my head, bro. Though I'm telling you right now, you still ain't gonna believe it's gonna be that mighty. Because we can't fathom the things that's gonna be happening to us, man. We can't even fathom it. Yeah, Lord, we spiritual probably be able to fly. You might be able to fly in a way you ain't never thought of. Sword. Like, God, man. Teleport from one year into the... Right? Bro, you're going to be able to... You never thought of. You're going to have flash to run the earth in seconds. How they tell you, you can actually go to another dimension. You can fly to... The... Yeah, right bro. there. Back yeah, with... Um, God, man. It's man, right. out of space. Man, bro, we ain't seen out of space. Yep. All right. We're going to be going to other fucking planets, bro. Yep. Like, bro. Like, bro, that shit gonna be man. The Lord said I go to prepare a place for you. All this time we've been here in captivity, the Lord been preparing a place for us, man. Ever since Yahweh Shai died on the cross, he told, that was one of the last things he told the, the apostles, man. I go to prepare a place for you, man. So all this time, all this time, man, you know what I'm saying? The Lord been, the Lord been preparing a place for us, man.
And the scripture says, I can't think exactly where it said, where the scripture says the Lord is going to take from, take from the wicked and give to uh, uh, them, give to him that is much more worthy, worthier. I can't think of it. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a couple of scriptures. I, I know. It, it's, it's, uh, I it's, it's 1% 1. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 60. Uh, I'm going to start at... Uh, I'm going to start at 8, man. It says, Who are these that fly, a, fly as a cloud as the doves to their windows? <laughs> Who are they, man? You know? It says, Surely the isles shall wait for me in the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from far their silver and their gold with them unto the name of Yahweh the, thy power and the Holy One of Israel because he hath glorified thee. Right, man? As brothers was getting into earlier, everything that Esau has taken away from us, man, everything that he stored up and, you know, sat on uh, and lived deliciously on, man, the scripture says this, as the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee, for in my wrath I smote thee. So the Lord was angry at us, man. Yahweh had a wrath upon us, man, because what? He was going off. He says, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. Man, our gates gonna be open continually, bro. Like, bro, like, ain't gonna be no. It's gonna be so much shit coming in. This is gonna, gonna be shit coming in. Motherfuckers gonna be trying to woo our ass, man. Like, I have brought. This came from the deepest part of the ocean. <laughs> Sire. Sire, I love you, Sire. This is my yeah, first. Okay, okay get back to work. Oh, the Leviathan. I cut this. Risking my life, my firstborn daughter. My wife is a half half. He's all gonna be trying to cry his way after that destruction after a thousand right. years. Bro, we're, bro, we've been telling us all you bitches gonna die after a thousand years. There ain't no way around it. But that's not. I, 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 I have changed, haven't I changed? Bro, hey, 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 go, hey, the scriptures say he, he shall have judgment without mercy that have shown no mercy. Mm. When the time for you to change was, you, you didn't change. Cause you had power. See that power get you fucked up. <laughs> I, 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 I do what I wanna do. That's that's that get you fucked up. And you know what? We you gonna cry? Oh man, you think you you think that you think you motherfuckers saw the carefully with tears when you lost the first place. You bitch is gonna be crying in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Like you say, man, we do not we do not know how you gonna go through that first day. That first day. Bro, and we're gonna be marking it down on calendars and shit, the, the, your, the day of your destruction. So you will know. They fucked up, man. Oh man, we're gonna fuck over your minds, man. Continuously, man. Continuously, man. You don't you ain't gonna know what self-esteem is. We just gonna fuck over your thoughts. 
Hey, you know, like the scarecrow of Batman. Mm -hmm. He got that little poison where you just see your uh yeah, well, your worst yeah, nightmare yeah, yeah. in reality. Yeah. They just gonna be living in a nightmare every fucking day, man. Yeah, okay. every day. Yeah, was, and I you know what? So, so like it, bro. Like that, like that hardcore slavery shit that y'all did. That's a man. That's that's how y'all gonna live for a thousand years, man. <laughs> it ain't gonna be nothing for us to come in and just fuck your kid over, man. Mm. Right in front, man, bro. I'm talking about jump up. To the to my neck touch the ceiling and, and come down and stomp that little demon's head. Like Bruce Lee did the dragon. Bro, <laughs> you gonna, gonna jump to the that moon and come down so like, hard, bro? That my bro half my body gonna be underground, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro, that's crazy, yeah, bro. Man, to take everything you love and make it hate you. Man, we're gonna have, and we're gonna make your kids hate you. We're gonna make, man, your, def, your woman definitely gonna hate you. They already talk but we're gonna make your fucking children hate you, man. And despise you, man. Right. Everything that you've done to us, it's gonna be done to you. Yeah, kids uh, already is, talk uh, shit to you. Really this is uh, Psalms uh, 2, and I'll start at 8. As of me, and I shall give thee. The heathen for thy inheritance mm -hmm. in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. You know what I'm saying? Be going to take the world because the world was built for our sake. You know what I'm saying? For our possession. Uh, the heathen is going to be in slavery under our rulership. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, and we, you know what he said? He said we're, we're going to take them for a possession, man. Right. That's what the scripture said. So that's going to happen. And they don't, they don't see it, man. You know what I'm saying? But we see it. We believe it, man. Our eyes are open, man. You know, we're going to take them for a, a, a possession, man. That means that we're going to have ownership of your ass. There ain't going to be no running to no judge or no... We ain't gonna have, you ain't going to have no police officers. You know what I'm saying? To help you. You ain't going to have no 911. You ain't going to have nobody to run to. Mm -hmm. Nobody, man. Go ahead. All right, this is Psalms um, 149 and 2. Let the saint of... Be joyful in glory. Uh -huh. Let them sing aloud above their bed. Uh -huh. Let the high praise of Yahweh be in their mouths in a two-edged sword in their hands. Yeah. To hey, so like you, you said to, to what? To execute vengeance. Upon the heathens, bro. Upon hey, the heathens, yeah. Hey, we're going to be praising the Lord, killing your ass, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're going to be we're gonna be thanking, hey, yeah, the water, Yahweh, yeah, about shim your, while we're cutting your ass to pieces, Good. man. Yeah. Can you imagine it? Bro, that's, bro, that's, bro, the praises of the Lord is going to be in our mouth, man. The high praises, man. So we're going to be, we're going to be, we're going to be thanking the Lord and the Hebrew. We're going to be rejoicing, killing you motherfuckers, man. When we get, when the Lord give us that green light. Go ahead. The heathen and punish them upon their people mm -hmm. to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. Yep, we're going to have punishments upon their people. We're gonna bind the, the, your kings with chains, man. Them, them Rothschilds, man, them so-called elites. You know what I'm saying? The, the, all, all, the, all the elite groups, build the birds. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, the build the birds, the Gettys, the DuPonts, you know, all of them. We're gonna bind their ass up with chains, go ahead. To execute upon them the judgment written Hey, and if I may add, and that's a hell of a point. It says to execute upon them the judgment written. Everything we're going to do upon you is ordained from the Lord. It says our, our gates shall be open continually to receive the forces of the Gentiles. It says what? You shall bash their head against the stones. All right. It says what? You shall render them uh, uh, You shall render them double a recompense for what they rendered unto you. Roughly perfect. Who captives cap cap they were. I'm right. Okay. So this all is all justice. You got it, out. Right. Honor right. have all his saints praise ye Yahweh. Praise ye Yahweh. So that's further separation. It says this honor have all his saints. So the saints of the Lord have to be the Israelites, because what did the Lord do? Every time a other non-Israelite nation came against his people, what? Judgment was rendered unto them, man. So the honor of his saints is to what? It's to, it's to recompense tribulations to them that trouble them. That's right. Even when we came out of Egypt, man, the Lord told Moses to vex the heathens because the heathens have vexed us. You know? Oh, 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 with Midian? Midian. Yeah, yeah, but Baal, Baal, Baal Peor? Because they have vexed you. Yeah. You know? I got, uh, you done in that? Art? 
Still got some more. This uh, yeah. proved that the Israelites are the saints.